Hello everybody and welcome to our well-being free flow activities. Let's have a look to see what we are going to do this week. Can you choose different objects to use as a paintbrush? Walk through the house and outside and collect a few things that you can use to paint with. Use a clothes peg as the handle. Now, create a huge painting use, using your favorite colors. What inspires you to make a painting? The trees and flowers, your pets, or the landscape? Which of your pig paintbrushes will you use for each part of your picture? Look at the different patterns and texture that each paintbrush make. Can you use a number maze? Cut a few kitchen rolls or toilet rolls. Just remember to sterilize the toilet rolls in the microwave oven in three pieces and number them from one to ten. Then stick them in a box or tray. Use a marble or bouncy ball to roll the ball from one to ten. To make it extra special, paint or color the box in your favorite colors before gluing the rolls in the box. You can use sticky tape instead of glue as well. Let's get active. Let's do the cheetah run. Run in place as fast as you can, just like the fastest land animal. Can you do a crab walk? Sitting down, place your palms on the ground behind you. Lift your hips and crawl on your hands and feet. Can you do big, loud elephant stomps? March in place, stomping your feet as hard as you can. Well done. For this activity, you will need a bit of time, so make sure you have enough time to listen to the story. Can you find a comfortable, quiet spot with your soft toy, a cushion, and perhaps a blanket? Go to the washroom first, make sure you feel comfortable, and make sure you cannot be disturbed. It's a long story, but such a peaceful one. Get ready to listen. Do not look at the screen while you are listening. Make yourself all cosy in your bed and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and slowly and gently let your breath out. Again, deep breath in and then slowly and gently let that breath out. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently let the breath out. Now just relax. That's right, just relax. Now imagine yourself surrounded by a beautiful white light. A light so bright and so pure. A light of protection and peace. 
Breathe in this white light. Really feel it as it enters your body. It makes you feel all warm and safe and so protected. Now imagine that you are in a beautiful, lush, green jungle. And this jungle has the most amazing trees. Some of them are very tall. So tall that they look as if they are almost touching the sky. Some of them are a bit smaller and a bit fatter. And some of them have very strange vines dangling from them. And you're not sure really what they are. They look all funny. You are deep in the jungle and you realise that you can hear lots of strange noises and you're not really sure where they are coming from but they don't scare you at all because you actually recognise some of them. You can hear the sound of birds as they fly from treetop to treetop. And there are several different birds calling out to each other. And you can hear them. You can also hear the breeze fluttering through the leaves on the trees. Stop for just a second and close your eyes and you enjoy the variety of all the different sounds all around you. You can hear the sound of a big jungle cat far off in the distance and you can hear him calling out to his family maybe he's calling them home for their supper maybe he just wants to know where they are you can even hear the sound of monkeys chattering to each other can you hear them some of them are quite loud indeed and you wonder what they are saying to each other. If you listen really hard you might be able to understand what they are saying. So take a moment and listen to them. Continue to walk through this lovely, lush green jungle. But you've never noticed before just how many shades of green there are. It's beautiful. The light in the forest cascades down through the leaves like twinkling lights. And there are ferns and moss everywhere. You can hear the many tiny animals of the jungle all scurrying out of your way, running fast hoping that you can't see them. And you can't see them. They are too quick for you, but you can hear them. You notice that the sun is starting to dip and there is a lovely orange-red glow in the sky. You can see it as you look up, but you can also see the colours peeking through the tops of the trees. As you continue your walk, 
you come across an old fallen tree just lying on the ground. So you decide to have a little sit and rest your legs. As you sit there, you hear movement behind you and you turn to have a look. Your mouth drops open in a gasp and you are amazed because standing in front of you is a chimpanzee. A chimpanzee with a bright red bow tie around his neck and a bright red hat sitting on top of his head. The chimpanzee tips his hat to you and says, Good afternoon. You give a gulp and your eyes stand out on stalks. Did this chimpanzee really just say good afternoon to you? Well, actually, yes, he did. Before you can reply, he sits himself down next to you and makes himself rather comfortable. He takes off his hat and lays it gently on the fallen tree and gives you a very big grin. He tells you that he is gathering his friends for afternoon tea. And he asks if you would like to come too. Well, you give a bit of a splutter and say, well, um, why yes, that would be lovely, thank you. The chimpanzee puts his red hat back on and stands up and says, Okay then, follow me. So the two of you set off together and you go off and you gather the rest of the chimpanzee's friends. After a little while, you come across a great big tiger with a very large head. He too is wearing a rather swish bow tie, but his is blue. He also has on a big blue cowboy hat. He grins at you and says, Hello. You notice that he has very large teeth, but he's not scary at all. In fact, he's a big old softy, really. So the three of you keep on moving. You keep moving along, just looking around. When you come to a clearing in the jungle. Now, in the middle of this clearing, there is a table and five chairs. And sitting at the table is a very large elephant with a white bow tie around his neck and a rather large floppy white hat on his head. Sitting next to him is a snake who also has on a bow tie. Only his bow tie is pink. Pink to match his tiny pink hat. The chimpanzee and the tiger walk over and sit down. And they beckon you to sit down on the remaining chair. You splutter a bit more and go, oh, okay. You cannot believe that you are sitting in the middle of the jungle with a chimpanzee, a tiger, an elephant, and a snake. And they are all wearing bow ties and hats. Goodness me. You look down at the table and see a big flowery teapot with five china cups and saucers. There is a sugar bowl and a fresh jug of milk. Also on the table there are scones with strawberry jam and fresh whipped cream. There is a huge plate of cookies of various sizes and shapes. There is a very large chocolate cake sitting in the centre of the table with flakes of chocolate sticking out all over it. There are even plates of cucumber sandwiches for everyone. 
There is a massive jug filled with lemonade for those who'd rather not have any tea. There is a bowl filled to the very brim with fresh fruit. Apples, bananas, pears, oranges, peaches and many, many more different fruits. This is a relative feast for the eyes. Everything looks so delicious and then you realise that you are very hungry indeed. It is then that the chimpanzee remembers that no one has told you their names. So he introduces himself and his friends. He tells you that his name is Chico. Chico the chimpanzee. His friends are Tommy the tiger, Eddie the elephant, and Sid the snake. He asks you what your name is, so you tell him. You ask them why they are all wearing bow ties and hats. And Sid the snake tells you it's because they always get dressed up for afternoon tea. It wouldn't be proper if they didn't. So for a little while, just sit with your new friends and enjoy your feast. Ask them all the questions that are bouncing around in your head. Ask them where they all live, who they live with, and anything else you want to ask. They are so thrilled that you are having afternoon tea with them. They say they don't have important guests very often, but you are important, especially to them. So now is your chance to ask all of the things you wanted to know about the lives of chimpanzees, tigers, elephants and snakes.
time for the tea party to end. And everyone has to go home now to their own homes. And you have to go home too. So you stand up and thank these beautiful animals for inviting you to their tea party. You thank them for all of the lovely food. But most of all, you thank them for telling you all about their life in this huge, lush green jungle. Chico, the chimpanzee, hands you a little box with a silver ribbon tied around it and tells you that it is a gift for you and you thank him very much. He tells you that if you ever want to come to their tea party again, all you have to do is come to the lush green jungle and he will find you. So you smile and you wave goodbye to your new friends and start to walk away. As you do, you take a big deep breath in and slowly breathe out. You take a few more steps in the lush green jungle and take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. You take a few more steps and take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. And now that you are ready, you slowly and gently open your eyes and you realize that you are back in your own home, surrounded by your own things. And you smile to yourself because you are really looking forward to returning to see your new friends in the lush green jungle.